It's harvest time at uh, Green on McLean, and we've got a bunch of things we want to show you. First of all, we have to have the right you tools. You have to have good tools. I mean, whether it's, it's a pair of pruning shears or even just a, a pair of clippers that, you know, just so you can snip the stems and get a clean cut, you don't want to damage the plant when you're harvesting. Although some people go in there and they just snap stuff up. And but sometimes you can, you can do that. Yeah. Sometimes you can do that. And of course, we want a garden fork as well. We're going to use this to, uh, to dig our uh, potatoes in just a little bit. But let's start with the uh, cucumber. We've got cucumber right here. And look, you look, you look underneath. And, and spread those leaves. Look at that baby. And you now I'm going to come in because I don't want to damage the vine, so I'm going to come in like this and snip it. All right. And we'll put that right in the salad. Okay. Uh, we want to show you we have some squash here. And one of the things about doing a harvest, and we're getting here, and you can see this beautiful squash starting to develop here. Uh, it's still a little early. I'm not going to harvest that one. Uh, but you do want to harvest as they grow and mature so that the plant will continue to produce more fruit. Because if you leave the fruit, there's a hormone that's made that tells the plant that the work is done, so it'll stop making flowers and stop producing you know, harvest. So mm -hmm. keep harvesting whether you're tired of zucchini or not. And we've got our beans here. We've got these lovely uh, bush beans here, and there's no reason why we can't harvest a few of these right away when they get to about this size. I had some the other night, and they were just fabulous. Let's show it. We've got some organic potatoes here. This is my favorite because this was my project this year. And as you can see, the foliage has uh, started to collapse here. That's a sign that it's time to harvest your potato. Uh, there are, are other plants over there and they're more green, but these are ready to harvest. So the thing is you don't want to damage the potatoes. You want to try to get around them. And I'm going to try to get in there and lift a little bit underneath. Oh, there we go. And look at that. We're starting to see some of these beautiful, look at that, lovely potatoes. Isn't that just the prettiest oh, it thing? it smells good, too. You can smell the, the potato smell. And the thing about the, these potatoes is that when you cook them, the skin is barely there. It's just, it's just so delightful because it almost, it just falls away. All right, let's move along to our kale, our curly kale. And now, see, you could snip it. Go ahead. Snip. I'll, I'll snip it. Some of this. And you just come down, and, and I'm going to come over on this side and snip it right off down here. On the other hand, the thing about these stalks, let me show you. You can just go bam, and they just come off just like that. And, and kale, of course, is, is a wonderful plant. It has lots of nutrients for you. And over here, we have our collards. And I, I, I never ate a collard until last year. Oh my! Yeah, uh, I grew up and down I started south. growing. I but these collars. are fabulous Always. plants. And now you can harvest the outside leaves like this, but the really tender ones are in the center. So if you want a nice uh, addition to your salad that's more tender, you go to the inside. If you continue the harvest around the outside, the inside of the plants will continue to grow, and uh, you can have them producing uh, uh, leaves for a long time. Mike, this looks like a good lunch. I think we've got it right here. So that's harvest time at Green on McLean. After the break, we'll be talking about the importance of fertilizers and your continued harvest. And then we'll go to a fabulous garden at the Cook County Jail and find out how they're learning to grow crops just like this.